We're going to start today with a dissection of the salivary glands and ultimately the whole digestive system. Today we're going to start just with the salivary glands themselves. I've got exposed um, section of the skin around the face so we can see into the cheek itself. One thing that you want to take a look for is the blood vessels going up and we'll name these and take a look at those with the circulatory system. This will be our landmark with these three fingers coming out so we can see these uh, these glands. One thing I want to point out is that these are uh, exocrine glands which means that they have a specific duct that goes to the mouth rather than an endocrine gland which puts uh, its makings into the bloodstream going to the entire body. We take a look at the uh, the salivary glands by just naming them from the ear going our way down and then finding the one right here in the corner right by the blood vessel. This is a big lymph node not a digestive gland but basically we just go and name them one, two, three and then there's one more up by the corner of the mouth which actually is not a salivary gland, it's one for a scent gland. So we'll be taking a look at those. This first one, right by the base of the ear, is called the parotid gland. Now if you look closely, there is a specific duct. It's uh, identified by a white string right along here. It runs right along the top of the masseter, going right to the corner of the mouth. Now all I'm doing is separating that away a little bit so you can see. It should be a white cord. We can see a little tail of it right here and follows its way all the way along. This is the parotid gland, this is the parotid duct. Now if I follow the parotid gland down to the base of the jaw, right here we'll see the submandibular gland. You'll also see this referred to as the mandibular gland. I'll use submandibular. On top of that, up in this corner, okay, if you take a look, we've got the, the bottom here, we'll see this branch. Now this big one that runs underneath the blood vessel, this vein that goes up to the corner of the mouth, this is one big uh, lymph node right here. This entire sac is one big lymph node. But in the corner is our sublingual gland. Sublingual meaning below the tongue. If you're bilingual, you speak in two tongues. So sublingual is just, uh, is just going to be a descriptive term. These are the three digestive or salivary glands that you'll need to know, parotid, submandibular, sublingual. There is one more gland, however, right here at the base of the mouth, and on this cat it actually uh, turned out pretty good. Um, a lot of times this one's a little bit harder because it's so close to the skin, but because uh, the way this one turned out, you can see it pretty well. I'll try to zoom in here. I've got this tented so we can see uh, shades it a little bit, but right here in this cor the corner of the mouth, I follow the blood vessel up, right here, this entire corner is all the molar gland. Molar like the molars of your teeth. Now this gland is actually a scent gland. Cats you'll always see rubbing the corners of their mouths against tables and corners of walls and everything else. They're leaving their scent behind. So this is not a salivary gland, but since we're looking at all the glands, here it's defined. It's almost a triangular shaped gland. This is how they'll leave their scent behind.